been quiet the past couple of days so uh, where did we get to last so we were uh, cycling up and down sort of the lot valley etc to uh, to get to breathe on galliard and uh, Yeah, pretty tough really. Very hot day and and uh, yeah, so lots of sharp, sharp ups and downs through the uh, the hills and valleys, which was pretty tough really. So I've had some. had some nice uh, really pretty stone villages in the morning that we're going through but what we found was that the the roads sort of this uh, seal chipping so although it looks smooth even going downhill is an absolute killer on the arms because the, the bike was constantly vibrating so with the sharp up and downs and and the roads and the heat it was really getting pretty pretty tough so uh, yeah that's why there's nothing on that afternoon on the way into breathe because uh, yeah it's just starting to get really really quite hot we're in the middle of this bloody heat wave at the moment. So it's hitting in the UK, it's in France. I'll explain about that in a sec. So we got to Breve, um, had this Airbnb which was, a, I don't know, an old converted office I'm guessing. Nice actually, yeah nice. Nice as always to have the room to spread around a bit. Um, we uh, we cooked in that night and basically made the decision that because of the heat and we're getting really quite tired because of the heat really saps the uh, the energy out of here and with the roads and yes and the 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 Friday route was our hilliest it's over 4,000 feet of climbing over 60 something miles so we uh, made a decision that on the Saturday when we're supposed to do a very similar route 
to uh, go to the mode would catch the train instead which was really was the best thing so we uh, we just rode to Breeze station jumped on the train an hour and 20 minutes later we were in in Limoges so we uh, sat around the park in Limoges for a while and then uh, got into our Airbnb so in Limoges we had where's Joe? there she is uh, in Limoges we, we were staying right in the middle of the almost the medieval old town in uh, a building that used to be some timber framed sort of <laughs> wattle and daub type type affair anyway being converted into a number of apartments so ours was uh, was very nice apart from being pretty woefully under equipped in terms of uh, stupid things like no tea towels which you had the same in brief um, no cooking utensils so it's all a bit pants really but anyway that's, that's what you get so yeah that was the Saturday and then the Sunday we had as a rest day, rest day in Limoges anyway so we uh, we lazed around in the morning and then uh, again stupidly hot so uh, So we, uh, in, in the afternoon, we went to get a few bits and pieces of food for for dinner that night, and then went to the Pottery Museum, which is just up the road from where we were staying. But Sunday, I thought even sort of Limoges, being a fairly large city, would be a bit more open. But every year we shut restaurants were open sort of at lunchtime. That was it. So anyway, we ate in, saved some money. So yeah, Lavage was very nice. Airbnb was nice, nice and roomy. I had a telly that had Netflix and Amazon. So we caught up for the uh, last episode of The Boys, season three. That was that was interesting. Got a long wait now until season four comes out. So I have to find something else to amuse ourselves. So what we decided to do was they've got this heat wave that's hitting basically all of Western Europe and in the next few days even though we're in the Mauve, middle of France traveling north should be getting cooler it's not it's actually getting hotter again so predicting temperatures up to about 38 when we get out to places like Le Mans and Tours so uh, we made a decision today which is we're going from Limoges to Montmorillon we were set out super early before it started getting hot so we left uh, we left the mode at six o'clock in the morning it's currently just coming out to eight o'clock in the morning done over 20 miles already We've got 60 just over 60 to do today and I think it was absolutely the right decision yes you had to get up stupidly early five o'clock which is crazy you're supposed to be on holiday but it means we're not doing the bulk of the ride in 30 plus degrees which was just getting stupidly hot so i think that might be the pattern for the next couple of days and we just see how this uh, how this heat wave how the heat wave goes it just wasn't wasn't planned at all i mean you can't plan the weather obviously but you look at the average weather in this time of year and yeah we kind of expect that in southern france northern spain but then get over it and get cooler as we went on but it just it's just getting worse again in fact I think our coolest day was probably going into uh, I don't know I was going in for Ravel or coming out of Ravel so that's where we are so we're just trundling through the countryside at the moment hope you can see that behind which is much terrain is very rolling so rather than the sharp inclines and descents had over the past couple of days is much more rolling so you, you, your average speed keeps up and it's a bit bit more Englishy type countryside really you've got ferns and fields and hay and forests 
cows being in uh, the Lima South we've got lots and lots of cows around so that's kind of the update of where we are at the moment and there's Jojo huh? saying there's you Sunflowers are back. Just seen fields and fields and fields of those. Jake, speeding along. Morning. Morning. What? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd do this before we get some nice light with the sun just coming up. It's uh, quarter past seven in the morning. So we're going for about an hour and 20 minutes. Again, because of the heat. Just gone through a very pretty town of St. Savin where I took some nice pictures of old bridges and stuff. And uh, we got papped by Google, Google Street View, which they got a picture of Joe's ass probably as they went past. So that'd be quite interesting to see when that gets uploaded. So today. Is our longest distance day, 81 miles. Elevation is not too horrible, but even so, it's still going to take us quite a number of hours to do. Because of the distance. Uh, and see how hot it gets later on. There's even a few clouds in the sky, which is actually quite nice, but not that they're doing much at the moment. So we uh, stayed in quite a nice Airbnb in Montmorillon last night. It was a kind of an annex to someone's pool house. Uh, but it's fairly clean and tidy. Went down into the town to have a, a kebab. Could be Monday evening, nothing was open, but actually quite a nice kebab with chips and salad. That was actually quite, yes, yeah, quite good. So fairly comfortable night, a bit warm, unsurprisingly, but you don't want to have the shutters open because then you get flies and stuff coming in. So you're on a bit of a hiding to nothing on that one. Set off this morning, actually felt cold, which is really weird. After all these days of being boiled, but that's soon going to change. Boiling is back on the menu today. So yeah, so we left Mont we stayed Mont Morillon and we're now on the way to Tour. We're riding by the side of the River Garton. Well not by the side of it, parallel not, to it. We're par yeah, parallel to it. to it, yeah. We keep um, we're, we're heading pretty much due north at the moment. So we keep cutting up and down to the river. So basically cutting off where it meanders around and we're taking a more direct route but we keep crossing over it which is leading to lots of nice photo opportunities so doing that for about 40 miles then after 40 we're then cutting still staying north up towards Tour um, 
profile of the route in terms of elevation, undulations and stuff doesn't really change, but quite nice. Very similar countryside to yesterday. So fields, wheat, sunflowers, cows, trees, the, uh, the hills aren't too bad. going up and you get some nice steady downhills as well. So it's going down the bottom of the hill. My back brake doesn't work at all. My front brake's not particularly brilliant either. So I've got to be a little bit careful which hills I'm going down and what needs to be done with them. So a lot of discussion last night about what we do when we get to, uh, to Portsmouth in a couple of days time. So the booking is that we've made a ferry booking for the Friday night. So the ferry leaves at 11 o'clock at night, um, gets into Portsmouth at quarter past six or something like that in the morning. Oh. dodgy charging cable on the Garmin. I don't know what that is behind me. Van. I might come back to this in a sec. Right. So, <laughs> where was I? Oh, in fact, I've got a charging cable on the Garmin that's knackered. A Garmin battery that is pretty shite won't do more than about 40 miles without failing anyway oh bumpy road yeah so we had lots of discussions about what we do about catching the ferry back so we're booked on this late night ferry on friday night because the idea being was we we didn't want to rush getting to to Khan, um in order to try and catch the earlier ferry which is 4 30. trouble is because of this heat wave at the moment we're leaving stupidly early so us cycling 50 miles to Khan from Argentan sorry really bumpy road Yeah, so us, us uh, cycling 50 miles to Argent to a car from Argentan is not going to be a problem to get there at 4.30 if we leave as early as we have been to beat the heat. And there's no sign of it abating at all. So, we look at the option. So one option is to swap our ferry ticket to the 4.30 which means we'll get into Portsmouth at about 9.30 at night on Friday which means A we can't cycle home from there so it's going to be in the dark we don't have lights and I'm not going to cycle 70 miles home at half past nine at night or we get, up, get Tom our son to pick us up question is can we fit three of us and two bikes in the back of the car we've got at the moment so that's that's the option we've been discussing if we 
can't swap the ticket or actually we don't want to go for the earlier one then it's also then a case of actually when we get to Portsmouth do we complete complete the ride in terms of cycling back home all the way from Barcelona which is kind of the regional plan nice thing to do etc etc apart from how are we going to be feeling when we get to Portsmouth after these next few days in the heat and having to cycle 70 odd miles home if it's still going to be stupidly hot plus the roads aren't brilliant ah shit hill um, at least trying to get over the South Downs so yeah we've had a bit of discussion we don't, haven't quite got to a conclusion yet I think we're going to try and phone Brittany Ferries today see what they say about swapping the ticket whether it's going to cost us anything or not because it's not a flexi ticket because what we'll end up by doing is losing the cabin that we've booked so whether one can be balanced off against the other so yeah that's what we're uh, that's what we're doing at the moment So we're currently cycling along next to the Gartomp and we keep crossing over these really pretty bridges. Uh, it's just to my left, you can't really see it, it's kind of hidden just down there next to the fields and the trees. Yeah, a bit of a bumpy road, quiet lane though. Catch you later. Tuesday afternoon. Uh, we're about 40, 35, 40 kilometers from Tour, 20 something miles. Um, we left the river behind, the rivers behind at about 40 miles. And we're now sort of crossing these, these plains. So you can see we've got loads and loads and loads and loads of sunflowers we've got farmers taking in their harvest but it's really exposed now so it's midday and there's no shade at all so we're getting absolutely blasted by the sun at the moment the good news is we've got most of the elevation most of the hills out of the way, apart from this chuffing one at the moment, which is a pain in the ass. It's a fairly main road, but it doesn't seem to be horribly busy. And it's just uh, yeah, it's a struggle when you're tired and there is no shade at all. You're just exposed. So, uh, Join the downhill bits when they come and it is trending downhill because Tour is on the Loire River so we still have to we do have to descend down into the river basin but at the moment yeah it's tough going so that's where we are enjoy the sunflowers 